Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Cloudways and comparing it to some of the most popular unmanaged VPS services like Vulture, Linode, and DigitalOcean. This is a question I get asked quite a lot. Should I go with Cloudways or should I go with something like Vulture and set up my own server myself? So I'm going to be going through the differences, the pros and cons of these services in this video. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. All right, let's get the most obvious difference out of the way first. Cloudways is more expensive because it's a managed service. Cloudways is gonna cost 10 to $13 for plans that would only cost five or $6 on Vulture or Linode. Um, so why would you wanna pay more? That is the purpose of this video. We're gonna go through each of the differences between Cloudways and these other guys. Now, one thing to note is that they all use monthly billing and they charge per hour of use on the server. I really like this feature compared to a lot of shared hosts. I'm thinking of Bluehost, SiteGround that tend to lock you in for multiple years. So uh, these guys, very generous in terms of their billing. You can cancel at the end of any month. You only pay for what you've used. It's very easy to change between servers and change things around if you don't like um, a certain aspect of any of these. So all of these cloud VPSs are very nice to use in terms of their billing system compared to shared hosting. I'll show you what I mean exactly with the pricing here. So we are on the Cloudways pricing page. So DigitalOcean through Cloudways starts at $10. If you go directly through DigitalOcean, that's just gonna be $5. Linode is the same thing, $12. Directly through Linode, that is just $5. Vulture, same again, $11. You can get that for $5 for the regular server. For the high frequency server, it's $13. You can get that for just $6. So high frequency server from Vulture, that is my personal favorite. So $13 on Cloudways, just $6 through Vulture directly. I've done a tutorial on that before. That one's in the description if you wanna check that one out. Now, I will just mention that all of these have free trials. Cloudways has a three-day free trial. The unmanaged services have much longer free trials, usually 30 to 60 days, depending on the promotion. These do change from time to time. So I'll keep those discount links in the description uh, down below. So check those out. If you wanna try out any of these guys, you can uh, get a free trial through those links in the description, but let's get on with the comparison. One of the biggest differences here between Cloudways and the others is the control panel. So Cloudways has its own control panel. As soon as you sign up, you get access to the panel. You can go ahead and start installing WordPress and get started in just a few clicks. So it's very beginner friendly compared to an unmanaged VPS. With uh, Vulture, Lino, Digital Ocean, you gotta choose your own software and choose your own control panel. So a lot of people actually like that. They like having full control over the server. You can put Plesk, uh, cPanel, you can just run it straight from the command line if you like to do that too. So lots of ways to run the server. It's totally up to you, but you have to support it by yourself. You have to refer to the documentation, public forums, those kind of things. But Cloudways, they give you the panel and they support the panel. So much more, uh, user-friendly, beginner-friendly with Cloudways in terms of the control panel. This is what I mean with Cloudways. As soon as you sign up, you just choose your infrastructure, you choose your app, which is obviously gonna be WordPress, and then you choose the server location and then you go ahead and launch and then you've got WordPress pretty much good to go. It's very much point and click compared to using the unmanaged services. Let's compare this to one of the unmanaged services here. So we've got Vulture and you actually have to choose which software you want to deploy onto your server. So I like to use Plesk. There's a free version of Plesk, which gives you a control panel and that you can install WordPress directly if you want a more uh, lightweight approach, but you have to manage things from the command line. It's more technical. You can buy a cPanel license. A lot of people uh, swear by a cPanel, but I don't really think it's worth the extra price when you can get a um, free Plesk license. And there's lots of other options there like open light speed. You can go just with a plain lamp or lamp stack and they've got webmin. So lots of options, but you do have to make your choice and uh, support your own decision here. Linode is similar. They've got your free Plesk. You can use a cPanel license. They've got webmin and virtual min. And DigitalOcean has tons of uh, apps you can install as your software. So you've got Plesk, WordPress, you've got cPanel. Um, you can do a plain WordPress install, uh, open Lightspeed WordPress install, Plesk obviously, uh, CyberPanel is one that's popular with people who want to use Lightspeed. Uh, lots of ways of doing it on DigitalOcean as well. If you decide to go with Plesk, you'll get a panel like this where you can install uh, WordPress, you can manage your uh, 
websites and domains. It's all fairly point and click. Once you've set it up, you're pretty much good to go. You can set up automatic updates, uh, firewall updates, all those things. I've done that in my previous tutorial, as I mentioned before. The other thing worth mentioning with Plesk is there is a free Lightspeed extension. If you prefer to use Lightspeed for your servers rather than Nginx, the uh, default install will give you an Nginx WordPress caching install. Uh, some people will prefer to use Lightspeed. Some people prefer to use Nginx. There are pros and cons, obviously, either way. So um, using Plesk, you can um, choose your own preference. I should also mention that Lightspeed Enterprise is not completely free, but they do have a free tier starter. So you can do one domain on a two gigabyte um, memory server. So if you want to test it out, uh, go ahead and link up Plesk with the Lightspeed extension. This could be a good way of doing things too. I'll just show cPanel here for comparison. This is really the industry standard in terms of uh, web control panels. If you want to run a shared web host with lots of websites, this can be a good way of doing it in terms of just being on that industry standard if you don't mind paying a bit extra. Um, pretty much everyone is used to using that, which is uh, probably its main advantage is its longevity and its uh, reliability in the industry. A lot of people do ask me, why not just set up WordPress by itself? Why do I need a control panel in the first place? They do have instructions on how to set up a one-click WordPress install. The difficult aspect of this is that you don't have a control panel. So if you do need to input any commands, you're going to be inputting them from the command line in text form. So you're going to be working through a uh, um, SSH client like Putty and putting in commands to a terminal like that. It's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not the most user-friendly experience. You do save a bit of memory on your server by not having a control panel, but um, it's not really recommended for those of you just starting out. All right, now that we've talked about the visual interface differences between them, let's talk about the tech support. Now, Cloudways is going to offer you a higher level of support than an unmanaged service because they provide you with the panel. They also support the control panel as well. So they have live chat support and they'll chat you through any of the operations on the Cloudways platform. So if you're a beginner and you're a bit nervous or hesitant starting out with a cloud server, um, Cloudways is going to be the more comfortable option in terms of learning how to use a cloud server. Now with these unmanaged VPSs, you're generally going to be limited to email ticket support, and those are going to be limited to server-side issues. They're not going to help you with your uh, software, with your control panel that you've installed on the server. They only help you with server-related issues. So the support is generally going to be limited to uh, documentation and public forums. So you're going to have to troubleshoot on your own and figure out how to run things. Now, for those of us who don't really need to use the tech support, that's going to be fine. If you do run into some problems that you can't overcome by yourself, you can always purchase developer help fairly cheaply on Fiverr. You can usually find people who will solve small problems for $10, $20, and it's not going to cost you too much in the long term if you don't really need a lot of help along the way. But for those of you who don't have that level of confidence in running a cloud server, uh, Cloudways will give you a lot more support along the way in terms of getting set up. Now, server management, this is important. It deals with the actual technical uh, management of the server. So Cloudways manages the server on their end. They give you server software updates, web application firewall updates. You can get automatic backups. All of this stuff is handled automatically. You don't have to think about it at all. Um, with an unmanaged VPS, you are responsible completely for your own server. Now, it doesn't have to be that difficult. I've shown how to set up a server um, using Plesk in my previous tutorial. It's not that hard, but you are responsible for it yourself. You have to do it all, get it right, and look after it. So if you feel like saving a few dollars is worth it, then go with one of these cheaper options and run your own Plesk server, for example, and um, you can set up your own uh firewall and your own server updates. It's not really that hard, but if you don't want to worry about those things at all, um, Cloudways will handle all that stuff for you. And finally, for my last point, uh, Cloudways does include a few features that people really enjoy when they use Cloudways. So the actual onboarding process is much nicer with Cloudways. They give you a free migration when you join, so you can port your website over from wherever you are over to Cloudways. They'll do it all for you if you just ask them when you join. They also have a WordPress plugin that will seamlessly move a website from one host to another very easily. And if you are dealing with staging sites, so you're working on a big website update, you can 
built a staging site automatically in Cloudways, and then when it's ready to go live, you can push it live with their staging feature. Now, you can obviously do all this stuff with any of these unmanaged things. It's just going to be more work. You can set up a um, WordPress migration, for example. I've done a tutorial um, migrating a server over from um, any host over to a Plesk server. I'll link to that in the description. Um, but it is a little bit more work than just uh, linking up uh, Cloudways with their Cloudways plugin and, and hitting migrate. This is a lot easier. And if you're not comfortable doing your own migration, you can get it done for five or ten dollars um, through services on Fiverr. I'll link to those in the description too. So I think in conclusion, Cloudways is a really interesting service because it really gave uh, cloud hosting a more uh, beginner friendly feel to it. So it really did change the hosting industry in that way in that cloud hosting wasn't really that accessible and they made it much more accessible to beginners. So I think if you're a beginner or you're someone who just wants to focus on design or just focus on building a business, like if you're an entrepreneur, you just want to concentrate on your business rather than concentrating on technical stuff. Uh, if you are interested in technical stuff though, uh, these guys are really good. If you're a tech savvy person who doesn't mind troubleshooting, you're interested in learning web development and you don't mind doing a few things yourself, then I think this is really interesting and you save a few dollars and it is a very uh, high performance, low cost solution for hosting a WordPress site. All right, if you're interested in trying any of these out, I've got links in the description where you can get started. I will put my tutorial videos up here so you can check those out. I've got a cloud-based tutorial and a Vulture tutorial. You can compare both of them and see which one you prefer, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.